Uh, I thought it, and I kept telling them it had been two years, but yeah, almost yeah. Two years. And I was telling them, I said, it has been a lot. I remember this story. Lot. Yeah, yeah, I remember it too. Yeah, I remember. and I keep it in the news too. It'll be on the news tonight at ten o'clock. Okay. No, <laughs> channel it, eight. But look how this has worked out. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. Went channel so eight right before the before I came oh, here. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's why I say the news stations have been so supportive. They mm-hmm. will not let my baby story die. So this is Dre pre-injury. Okay. So um, these were the last pictures we took. We took family photos. He was so mad that I made him go. He thought he was too old for this. You were doing a good job. And <laughs> when he came home, he, when we got him back, he was like. Do you think you can help me put a portfolio together? I want to be a model. <laughs> <laughs> so I always call this his model pick. And we have Pray for Dre t-shirts that we got made to like raise money and stuff for him. So that is our Pray for Dre t-shirt. This is Dre's 13th birthday party where there were 13 kids. And it was safe and no guns. Right. All the boys spent the night in my house. This is our last trip to the zoo. This is my brother's stepdaughter. Her and Dre are like best friends. So they did all kind of crazy stuff. She started cutting herself after this happened. Oh, that's why I say pain, pain. Honey, just, just pain. Just pain. Just her best pain. friend. Her best friend was gone. Pain. That is the basketball game I missed. So he's number twenty-one. So. Oh, I love that picture. Yes, mm-hmm. me too. He made that shot. Oh my God. But his best friend Anthony reps twenty-one, and Anthony scored zero points that night. And Dre, my friend brought him home and she said, Dre turned to him and said, it's okay, bro, I'm gonna practice with you. Oh. They never got that practice, but now they moved to Texas and he is the star seventh grade, Aww. eighth grade player. Look at He's that. the star now. He is on an all-star team. He's going to the Bahamas and everything. So I tell him that's Dre's spirit pushing him on. Mm-hmm. So this is my baby pre-injury. What's that point in the middle? When life gives you chocolate, make Hershey's. That's what he used to say all the time. <laughs> and this is um, last football game. We spent nine months playing football. Nine months. We traveled. And so we were in Tennessee. Wow. First year he made the all-star team. He had been trying to make it every year. He made the all-star team Aww. that year. And I, and I traveled to Tennessee with him. And we had an amazing time. It was so fun. Um, he plays for the Dad's Club at mm-hmm. Riverside Park. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Um, I will let you guys know the date. They're doing a, a Pray for Dre, Play for Dre oh. football tournament in August. August oh, 8th and 9th. Okay. It's going to be a two-day tournament. Okay. And in the spring, I will do a basketball. I did one this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll do that every spring. And then in the fall, uh, they'll do they'll do, they'll do yeah. football. Okay. I'll do basketball. Because that was his thing. That's us on the circle. I have finally bought him a dog. I'm scared oh. to death of dogs, but I actually held it that day. And um, we had to get rid of it because Dre was lazy and didn't want to help me take care of it. <laughs> and so then she made this one. So like I told you guys, this is about second day of injury when he was big and swollen. And I didn't know he was on life support. I just thought all those wires were speeding him. I didn't know what I was thinking. <laughs> then she went through and printed off all oh, my Facebook I love it. Honey, I love it. About I love him. it. I oh, could I not. She it. surprised me with this at the it. basketball tournament oh. in February. Yes. I love it, honey. I yes. Love it. So this is Dre. So this is when the swelling went down before we got sent to comprehensive care. And this is Dre when he got his skull back. This is Dre without a skull. You can't really see it that good. So he was at home without a skull. He had to wear a helmet. You know how you mm-hmm. hear kids yeah. being taunted about mm-hmm. wearing a helmet? Mm-hmm. I mean, had to wear a helmet anytime we transported him. Yeah. Um, so this is the swelling I was talking about after, afterwards. It was so sad right here. It went down about after seven days. Um, then he stayed in Riley for another uh, about a month and a half, actually. Then he came home for about a month before he went to rehab. But these are all our in-between pictures. I love this one. Oh. And I'll stay okay. right there. How about that? Okay. So I love this. This is this is our real journey right here. This mm-hmm. is our real journey. Mm-hmm. So these are this is my brother, stepdaughter, and my cousin. They're feeding him. Dre's on a G tube. He has to be fed through his stomach. 
Um, it was five five times a day, but God is blessing us. He's down to four times a day because he can feed himself. Good. So he can have um, puree food and I like applesauce. They ground up chicken. He loves chicken <laughs> and barbecue sauce. So now he can, they feed him by mouth one time a day. Oh, so now Dre is 172 pounds and six foot tall. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> so traumatic brain <laughs> injury start. speeds. Look, I done learned all this stuff. Well, that's good. Uh, it speeds up puberty. So oh. he has a mustache now. He's got a beard coming in and he's six foot tall. He was 5'7 day to injury. Are you going to have to shave his mustache? They asked him if he wanted to be shaved. He said no. He shook his head no. Oh. So they they going to follow <laughs> Dre's orders right now. <laughs> so this is, he had to have boots on to keep his feet from falling in. They still fell in, so he ended up having surgery. But that's Jada trying to put her boot on. She would come over and be his nurse. Mm -hmm. um, this is him still on the trach. He did end up, uh, so he got shot February 1st. He got off of the trach um, at the end of July. Mm -hmm. Riley is awesome. They were determined not to send my baby home with a trach. Mm -hmm. And the second time he came home, he did, we were trach free. So that's what I, I tell people I got to sleep about seven months after injury because mm -hmm. he came home without a trach. Um, this is Jada's 15th birthday, which was really special because 14th birthday, I think, is on this one. And we all went out to dinner right here. She turned 14. Mm -hmm. And then that's her and Dre on 15. Oh, so it shows you, you know how life changes. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is Dre's first time standing at therapy. You guys. Oh, get that. Yes. His oh, first really? time standing. Oh, wow. So you see the, he's like, what's going on? Right. So yeah, that was his first time standing up. Wow. So he did 10 minutes oh. or seven minutes. Wow. Now he does 35 minutes. Oh, oh my He's at 35 minutes and he holds his head up. Oh, that's good. Holding his head up is a huge deal being paralyzed because it starts the strengthening of the trunk, which mm -hmm. gets him back on his feet. Okay. So I'm telling you, Neuro Restorative is so amazing because the littlest things he do, they're like, oh, he sneezed. He's doing good. Anything he do. So they are so happy now. We got 35 minutes. That's, that's that's and awesome. The head stays up for the entire That's time. Awesome. I mean, I cannot tell you how much that means when That's you see your child like this mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And so now we go to rehab. We go one, two, three, up. Keeps his head up. This is, so nice. this is all of us. We all went down after Thanksgiving. I have an amazing family. That's so awesome. this is my family, my best friends, my mom's best friends, everybody. We all went down to visit them after Thanksgiving. Oh, my nice. mom works for a first student and they donated a bus, they oh. donated the gas and Look everything. And pay oh, for all of us to go. Bless the Lord. Yes. Yes. Fourteenth birthday. Oh, he lived to see it, so yes. mommy had to celebrate. Last year, my mom was also diagnosed with breast cancer, mm -hmm. so we had a survivors party because her and Dre's birthday are a week apart. Okay. So everybody wore their pink for breast cancer, and we had our green for Dre being a survivor of a traumatic brain injury. So everybody took pictures in their pink and stuff with them. This right here, I love this. He got to go back to school before he went to rehab. He went back to his regular school. I I still haven't seen him have that much life in him. He loved her, Miss Davis. She got to talking to him. My son was all over the place. Like he loves Miss Davis. <laughs> so, and this is his best friend Jacoby. And so he got to go back to school and spend time with them. They would read to him. They had him in. Um, he went from honor student to special ed classes, but at least he got to go. But they would let his best friends come down and read to mm -hmm. him and work on the iPad with him and stuff like that and spend time with him at school. This is rehab. Poor baby. I made him a turkey hat for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I said Dre would be so mad. Believe it or not, one shot didn't change his dad. That's the last time he's seen his dad. This was right before Christmas last year. He don't come around. He don't call. Nothing. That's the last time he's seen his dad. He didn't so he see was through Christmas all this. Christmas. He was there through all this and then just stopped. Um. Yeah. He wasn't there before. Right. So Dre was shot in February. He hadn't seen his dad since September, and that was briefly. He came to a football game for ten minutes, um, and then when he got shot, he never left my side. But then he disappeared again. So this is the last time mm -hmm. seeing his dad. Mm -hmm. He actually went to the rehab with me to pick him up. Um. So this is him continuing to stand again stronger. Mm -hmm. And if, if you look from there to here, from here, this is at, this is when he was at rehab at Riley. First day he smiled. Mm -hmm. So from February to July, he had no emotion. It was this. 
Mm. So he had no emotion. See him smile. Oh that my that God, I about lost away. my mind. We was like, where did that away. come from? And I kept saying, do it again, do it again. I had a million pictures in my phone. I couldn't believe. I bet that blue Seven blue months away. almost, no yes. emotion. So that's the first day my baby smiled. Aww. So that to me, that was our day to be on our road to recovery mm -hmm. because that's when life started coming back. Mm -hmm. The next day, we played Juicy J with my J's on because his teacher used to let him play it at school. Mm -hmm. And so he that's the first time we saw him dance in the wheelchair. So he will literally dance in the wheelchair mm -hmm. now. So we smile and then the next day we saw him dance. So it was it was wonderful. <laughs> So what, this is him feeding himself. Yes. So you see, she they, it's called a bionic arm. They give his arm a lift, and they set in this thing, and it lifts it up. But he takes the spoon to his mouth and pulls it out himself. So that's an example of the bionic arm. Barbecue chicken, here we go. Yep. That's his brother <laughs> trying to encourage him in rehab. We go visit him once or twice a month. I'm going on Thursday. Um, this is Christmas. I got to bring him home. We don't get to bring him home very much. Because they feel like if he can be home, the insurance doesn't need to pay. Mm -hmm. So he gets five days a year. Okay. So this is all of us with him on Christmas. Mm -hmm. I believe he knew he was home. He did. Mm -hmm. This is him at the very beginning. So he didn't have a skull here, but if you look close, you can see how swollen it is. Mm -hmm. So without the skull, it allowed the swelling to swell outward instead of inward and erupt in his head. So that's what the swelling is. So one of the surgeries Ooh. was we had to get a shunt put in to get oh. it to drain out. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. then that's when it becomes sunken right here. Okay. And he used to sweat really bad. It would be, oh my God. But when you're when you're shy, it just throws everything off. So his body temperature, everything was off. He would sweat really bad and everything, but this Oh, there it said it was great. Oh, <laughs> good, good. So that's it, that's where we are. I say this is oh, probably the most recent one. Really good show, she loved it. Oh, that's just my grandmother. Awesome. She, oh my God, bless her heart. She has a Pray for Dre t-shirt up and she prays mm -hmm. over it and talks to it every day. Every single night. I called her before I came. I said, can you put that shirt on and take a picture in your orange? Because it's orange. Mm -hmm. And um, But yeah, she she prays over it every single day. That's your mom? My, no, this is my granny. Your grandma, okay. Mm -hmm. Her and Dre were like this. Mm -hmm. My grandmother is almost 75, but you, I mean, she goes down there and sees him and... She's amazing. She's amazing. When we bring him home for graduation, she's like, he needs to stay and he's spending the night at my house. I said, okay, we'll set it up where he can spend the night at your house. Oh, but I'll. Recording? I don't know. Juan, I'm oh, still so going. Yeah. Oh. Good. Oh, okay. I Good. want her to give us that website. Uh, where can we buy these shirts? Like, where um, can I go to get. You just order them through me. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. They're pray for dress shirts we'll and you just get them through me. Mm -hmm. Yep. So where do you get your shirts that made at? I get them. Um, a friend of my grandmother, her and her husband have a small printing company, and they mm -hmm. do them for us. We, we need shirts. Oh, so we need shirts. They do an awesome I job. You I can see them in some of these um, pictures, the Pray for Dre shirts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He does the shirts where it's no, you know, you can't film them. Dre has on mm -hmm. one right there. You can kind of see them. And they're just $10. Okay. Okay. Give us your Facebook, uh, the community. Do you have page. any? Do you have any cards? I for do. What you do or I have cards, okay. my every town cards for that group I'm in. Mm -hmm. um, but my face, the face, the community page is Pray for Dre. Okay. And okay. then for survivors, well, was one shot survivors can, on Facebook. Can on you Facebook. guys send there that to go. me, please? Yeah. We're I on can. it on our page. If you go okay. to our page, yeah. it'll I, be on there. I can't get to my phone. I'm even know where it's at. Yeah. I just, I'm like, I don't want to be on it. I don't want to look at it. I just want to be here because he. Best interview yet. Yeah. This well, nice. I'm sorry. This is this is it. Number one was awesome. Yes. 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 Number one was awesome. You did a great yeah. job. We really appreciate your story. Yes. Thank you. And coming down here and Thank you. You know, and dealing with right. But it was great. It really Thank was you. great. It was. Yes. This was this was such an opportunity. That's what I'm saying. I don't have no. Last week was just flies. I think the nets came because we had the fruit and the wine. Because you know um, they probably was oh, here. Oh, in my glass too. Oh, girl, you need to get it out. Get it out now. Nobody do. We don't nobody know. We can bit through ours. Because they didn't. The alcohol killed it. All the poison. That's all right. Yes, that's well, listen, guys. Yeah, let's get some pictures. Well, if you ever want to do something, you know we're always doing something. I she used to tell us at the club, y'all always doing something because when we went to Vegas, we worked together. Oh, mm -hmm. I was like, you guys are always going somewhere. Mm -hmm. We yeah. just want to get out of here now, but we're here every week. 
Me and my yeah, friends and adopted that. We just came from Myrtle Beach, Black Pack Weekend. We had an awesome ooh, time. Ooh, right, I, I told you she was at Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Yes, and that one of them groups I'm in, that's good for me to travel a lot. So I've been in New York this year. I've been to Tennessee, Myrtle Beach with the girls. And my boyfriend's a biker, so we went to a biker event in New Orleans this mm. year, too. So I've just been trying to enjoy life. You, and you have to. Girl, I, you I've been trying to enjoy life. You can't life. deny that. You right. cannot keep. You can't deny you got some people that. when it happens to them, they shut down. They you shut gotta down. have they get depressed. Yeah, like, like you said, they be alcoholics. Right. You have to. Yeah. You, you see so many to. parents go through that. Because that's the way you inspire other people, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not the way giving you up. inspire. And everywhere I go, I tell my story. That's so right. you better believe I was in Myrtle Beach, New Orleans. I was on the plane. I was telling my story. Everybody needs to know. Let me show y'all about the business cards too. Everybody needs to know. Yes, we need. They need to know. Are you gonna do pictures? Yes. Get out oh, we're still recording. I'm sorry. Oh. It's nobody watching, but oh, we're just okay. recording. Oh, okay. Just to have extra too. stuff. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just to have extra stuff. So, um, I, I think I need to say on here thank you to you all for this amazing opportunity. It was it was good. This was good. It's a good platform. I think you guys are doing a great thing here. And have people yeah. like me to share my story and and live out their dreams. So we thank you. Yeah. Thank we you. are working on it. Yeah. I want you to work on finding a woman who wants to talk about their story of domestic violence. Honey, I work with them every day. I know you do, but Deja, who wants to actually get out there and share it? I do. Okay, we Put know you do. Yeah. We know you do. Well, I'm we just want saying. You, I, we I, want you to start your well, thing. Just let her tell her story. I do. Do her. Honey, when yeah. I tell you what the Lord you blessed last week, when I tell you the Lord blessed last week, mm -hmm. when I say Girl. the Lord blessed last week, like I'm about to be in tears. Made me move Could off you? the bed last week when she told me, go ahead, stay yes, sharing. Don't let me a whole house. Oh my God, wow. I'm so a house. A house. I'm wow. so happy for That's you. How these people, the president said, I'm so happy for you. A house. Bisha, quit. Bisha, listen, listen. Don't <laughs> jump over here. Don't jump off the south. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to get some partying. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. The way it worked out, the way the Lord blessed the way it worked out, I just walked into work. The manager came up to Kiev and said, somebody called about a donation when they're the condo to one of the clients. I said, script, wait a minute. What you say? Kiev said, what? The manager said they want to donate a condo to one of the clients. Mm -hmm. I said, um, I, I just want to know, how can I be a part of that? I know I'm not officially a client, but I work here. You know, I'm just asking. Yeah. Right. I just, but uh, the whole time I'm getting and laughing. Can I, you know, I'm right, just being right, silly right. being myself. Mm -hmm. She said, well, if the clients, if we ask the clients, the circles community, if they don't want to do it, I'll, I'll run your name past her. Mm -hmm. You know, if the, the kids in the circle community don't want to do it. She said, we asked the circle class. We said, she said, we asked the circle client, but she said she don't want to leave from the east side. I said, who the heck says that? For real. I said, just let me know how, what I need to do. I said, criteria, credit check, background check, give a little blood. Just let me know. The whole time, we kind of giggling. She said, well, I'll see. I'll, I'll, run, I'll run your name past the president. By the time we left where we were going to that freaking poverty scene, by the time we got to P IUPUI, the manager called Kiev and said, we're not going to ask nobody else. I talked to the president. Know, and the president said mm -hmm. that the agent and her family deserve to have the condo that yes, they do. gonna donate and we want Amen. her to have it. I have watched her listen the president. I don't even know the president, but I always say, Oh, I love your dresser, I love your bob haircut. Right. I, I didn't even know who she was. But the whole time it's like been watching me packing boxes, mm -hmm. packing that trunk. Right. So has she heard food. so she heard has she heard your story? Mm -hmm. No. Oh god dear. No, she, she has not. Good. Because so, that's why we got to get the story the, out. But wait, by the time okay. we got to IEPY, uh -huh. the manager said, we want her to have it. She said, Kia said, go back to the office, talk to the manager. I was like, okay. I said, manager, Miss Jenny, you know, Kia said, you want to talk to me? She said, oh, yes. The president said that there's no one else more deserving than you, that she has watched you work, oh she has heard about you, and she wants to bless you and your family with the condo. If you will take it, all it's going to cost you It's two hundred dollars a month. Woo, Lord Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Thank you. They don't even know my story. I didn't even put it out there. I put right. my story out there April, but they don't know my. You know the people right. that they, they, right. the, they don't know. Wow. I said, "Are you sure?" I said, "What's the criteria? Credit check, bankruptcy. You want a little blood? You Nothing. want to know my history? You want to know how many baby daddies I got? You want to know how many divorces I've had? What's the criteria?" She said, "There is Nothing. none." 
She said the lawyers are setting it up right now. Oh They're going to sign God. it over to you. All they want to do is get the tax right off. And if you can pay that $200 every month in HMOs, it is yours to have. She said if you don't want to say anything about it, don't. She said, but in a couple of weeks, it's going to be yours. I said, are you a sure? A couple of weeks? You said in a couple of weeks. When? A couple of weeks. And that's why I didn't want to tell y'all. I didn't want to tell what? nobody because I said, well, Lord, what if, what if something happens no. where? No. What if something happens no, where? Already bless you. But, yeah. but, but, but like I know, God is faithful. And he's going to give you what you want. But let me tell you, a couple of weeks ago, I had a dream. I was in this kitchen. And I said, the, three, about three weeks ago, I had a dream. I was in the kitchen. And I was like, y'all. The walls is kind of pink, but we're going to put some paint on it. I had this dream three mm. weeks ago, and I was sitting on a screened-in back porch. And I don't care if this sucker's 45 minutes away. I'm moving uh, what? out of the hood. Oh. Right. Moving yeah, on up. Go. For free. Right. For free. See you twerking, neighbor. I'm For gone. Free. <laughs> <laughs> For free. Uh, that's totally right. I said, are you sure I can do it? Anything on the ring, girl, because I'll be over there every night. I said, <laughs> I said, You sure I can tell somebody? She said, Yeah. She said, But one thing about the Julian Center, when they donate, they donate. They right. not come back they and say, yeah, Well, we're not going to do nothing. it because right. we saw your credit and you only got six forty nine. Well, you had too many baby daddies. Right. Well, you went through a divorce last week. You was married 30 weeks. I mean, they're not going to do that. No, we're not. <laughs> this is the true story. I'm going to record this. I hope you record now for this because when the people come through and they bless you, they just want to bless. Right, right. Ain't no strings attached. Right, no, they ain't coming in at 12 o'clock at night. They're going to just bless oh, you. And I said, Lord, are you for oh, real? God, I'm so happy for you. When you want me to plan the house? Baby, the mm -hmm. house. Oh, you tell her the stipulations. Okay, the stipulation. Only one problem. The one stipulation is problem. this. We talked about it. We, we know what we talked about. You want him to record this? I don't know, but I'm taking these shoes off. I already told you 12 miles. I know, I think I oh, okay. The stip okay, this is the stipulation. <laughs> so, the, the only thing is, it's 12 miles. Hold on. When I Googled it, it said 12 miles from my house. Mm -hmm. It said 28 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, okay. For those that don't live in it, from those, for those that have been someplace other than Indianapolis, 28 minutes ain't nothing. Right. But for those that, that are native Indianapolis, that don't go anywhere, 28 minutes is a big damn deal, but I'm telling right. you, we live in LA, and you know how it rolls. You're gonna go someplace, you're gonna drive to get there. Yeah. Two or three hours. We're right. talking about the store. It ain't no stores around there. Oh, oh what city is it in? It ain't no liquor stores. What city is it? Wait a minute, what city is it in? stores out there. Where is she sitting at the liquor stores? You guys go to Costco and stock up. What's, that's the stipulation oh, shit, Where is it at? It's, it, it's in, okay, so it's like Avon, Brownsburg, and there's a little city between the two. Right. Called Claremont. Right. Yeah. Justice Friend lives in Claremont. All Sign me up. Right. They was the 18, Boom. They said incredible. Oh! We own the 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 Oh yeah. Okay, so July twenty seventh is when you're doing the at next program, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, we gotta okay. stop. We ran over our time today. Okay. Uh, check us out next week, seven to eight p.m. Atmosphere and conversation. In conversation. Thank this you for being real. Thank you for viewing. Tell them where we're gonna be. We will be at Sakana Tokyo next week. Happy hour. See you next week.